Hey subbies, this is a dramatic black and pink look just for you because I have been doing a lot of contest looks. So, I decided to make one specifically for you because I've been neglecting you guys and so I hope you enjoy this. It's very dramatic. I like it a lot, actually. I might wear it to school tomorrow, minus the hooker lip gloss thing going on. You know? But, anyways, um, I, pre I do appreciate you watching, and there is a thumbs up button down there. So, it's not gonna sit there like an idiot. Well, it'll sit there regardless, but still. It'd be nice for you to click. So, I hope you enjoy this tutorial, and I hope you learn something. Okay, so I primed my eye. Now I'm going to be taking a fluffy brush from e.l.f. And I'm just going to be dipping it into this color from L.A. Colors, the Wildflowers palette. And putting it all over the lid. Don't have to be perfect on the lid. And then blending it up into the crease. And if you want, you could put tape down. I'm not, because I could just wipe it off. Okay. And then taking a fluffy brush. And this one I'm taking from the Elf Dramatic Drama Palette. I'm just going to be taking a white. I'm putting it right there real quick, just so it's easier to blend that pink later. And then with the same brush, I'm going to dip into some black from the 120 palette. And then just lightly dust it onto the top of the pink. I'm making sure you cover it. And then what you're going to want to do is bring it into the crease a little bit. And blend it into that pink up there. Bring this all the way into the order cor inner corner. If you want, you can go back over with the pink and just keep blending. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, on the edge, I'm just going to do it like that, and then clean up. And then with your, with this brush, just an angled brush, I'm going to blend that pink. Okay. And with my highlight brush, I'm just going to take that same white and place it up there. Okay. And then with a pencil brush, you're going to take that white also. And blend it right there on the inner corner. And if you did your black well enough on the top, you don't have to put eyeliner, especially if you have a black that's already dark black. But if your black isn't black enough, go ahead and use eyeliner. And I'm just going to wing this out a little bit right there. And then line the waterline. And smudge it underneath. And if you want, see that space where you have your wing and your eyeshadow? Just fill it in with some white. Just open that up area up. Like that. 
And you can put some underneath the black too. Like that. Just to define it. And then do your eyebrows. Um wherever my eyebrow pencil is. Er, can't find it, so I'll just take eyebrow wax and just fill it in and shape it and just I'm just gonna fill mine in. Watch, I'll find it right after this video's over with. Okay. For mascara, I'm going to be taking Lash Stylist by Maybelline. I'm just And to keep with this dramatic look, I am going to apply a bright pink blush to my cheeks. Uh, or you could use a plum. I'm just going to be using this bright pink. This isn't a good pink. I think I have another one. <sighs> yeah, I'm just going to be using this bright pink from the Color Workshop. Hmm, much better. Mainly focus it on your cheek, apples of your cheeks. And if you want to soften it up, just take your buffer brush, brush that you used to put your foundation on, or your setting powder, and just apply it over it to soften it a little bit, or and blend it a little bit more. Okay. And I will be also taking a bright pink lipstick, or I'm just going to use this lip liner. Okay, so I just put that lip gloss on, and I put a lot because it is a dramatic look, so I said, decided that I should put a lot of lip gloss. I go, mmm, hope you enjoyed, and... You come back for another one and you leave a comment and you thumbs up and hopefully you subscribe because I've been stuck at this 23 bar, you know, 23, not a real good number, you know.